Thanks so much for letting me tag along. I've always wanted to know how to put up a satellite dish. And what better way to learn than watching two experts at work? Oh! Oh, 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 oh. I just dropped the satellite dish on my foot. Come on, Mike. Stop jumping around. We need to get going. Uh, aren't you taking your backpack, Joe? No point. It's just got me coat and hat in, and I'm not going to need them today. It's perfect T-shirt weather. We've got enough to carry without wearing ourselves down with backpacks. You might as well leave yours too, Peter. OK. I'm sure you two know what you're doing. Experts at work and all that. Right then, cadets. Today, you'll be learning all about the most common reasons people get into trouble in the mountains. Oh, is it because bears run after you and eat your sandwiches? No, Norman. It's because they wear the wrong footwear. Who? The bears? No, Norman. The people who hike up into the mountains. They need strong shoes to protect their ankles and feet. And you can't walk down a mountain if you're injured. So that's the footwear. Now, what do you think is the next most important thing to have when you're in the mountains? A warm coat! Absolutely right, Mandy. Now, we need a volunteer to demonstrate what happens if you don't wear a warm coat up in the mountains. Ooh, ooh, me, 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 uh... me, me, Um, I think Station Officer Steel might want to have a go, Penny. <sighs> right then, Station Officer Steel, you can be our volunteer. Me? Really? Oh, how exciting! <laughs> so, I need you to imagine that you are stuck in the mountains without a coat, and it's getting cold. Oh, yes, yes. Backstory, I like this, yes. Ooh. I am so cold on this mountain. Why, oh, why didn't I bring a warm coat? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Who would be silly enough to go up into the mountains without a warm coat? Oh, is it just me, or is it getting a bit chilly up here? Oh, I've got goosebumps on me goosebumps. Don't you bar at me with that tone of voice, Woolly. I don't have any food for you. I've left me sandwiches in me backpack. I don't think she wants food, Mike. I think she's worried about us. <sighs> <sighs> Probably because it's getting cold. Don't you worry, Peter. We'll have this dish up and we'll be back down the mountain and warm in no time. <sighs> well done, cadets. You've done a great job of keeping your patient warm and cosy till help arrives. Oh, yes. I'm very toasty now. <laughs> but what I really need now is a nice hot cup of tea. I'm starting to think that Station Officer Steele did this just to get a blanket and a hot cup of tea. And if you've got a hot crispy grumpet, that would be lovely. Oh, hurry up with that meter reading, Peter. My hands are numb. Oh. Mine too. I can't hold my spanner. I just need to warm myself up. That's a good idea, Mike. Um, what are you two doing? Trying to keep warm. Oh, uh... does that really help? Oh, oh. Maybe we need to run up and down as well. Come on. Uh, be careful. There's rocks all over the place. We know what we're doing. Experts at work, remember? Ooh! Oh, no! I've sprained my ankle on a rock. Oh, that'll be a bruise. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. We'd better get you down the mountain so we can get some help. Ow! I can't walk on this ankle. It hurts too much. But we'll freeze if we just stay here. Nah. Nah. Oh, look. <laughs> Wally's come to keep me warm. Oh, you were right, Peter. She didn't want me sandwiches after all. <coughs> but how are we going to get down from the mountains? <coughs> Be quiet, Wooly. <coughs> we're trying to think of how to get down. <coughs> I think she's trying to tell us to call the rescue team. 
That's not a bad idea. Peter, Mike and Joe are trapped on Bunty Pandy Mountain and Mike has sprained his ankle and Wooly has advised them to call for help. Peter, Mike and Joe are trapped on Ponty Pandy Mountain and Mike has sprained his ankle and Wooly has advised them to call for help. We can watch the team in action from here. soon to have a look at your ankle, Mike. No, oh, thanks, Penny. It, it really hurts. And I've got some nice hot tea for all of you. Oh, yes. We're okay, Tom. Backup has arrived. Roger that, Penny. Returning to base. They didn't get me the cup of tea. Oh, yes. And uh, speaking of which, I never got mine. Oh, my crumpet. I'm, I'm still a bit chilly, you know. Actually, I'm a bit chilly too. So am I. Me too. Station Officer Steel, can you make us all some tea and crumpets? What? Oh, all right. It's just a sprain, Mike, but it'll be quite painful for a few days. If only you'd been wearing proper hiking boots, they might have protected your feet. I know, Sam. Serves me right. We weren't really prepared for the mountains. Really sorry, Penny. We left all our coats at the Mountain Activity Centre. We didn't think it would be this cold. Well, you should know the weather can change on the mountains really quickly. So, next time, remember to wear the right shoes and have your warm clothes with you. We will, Penny. We really didn't think this one through. Don't worry. We can drive you all back down. You'll be warm enough in the vehicles. What about Willy? Will she be warm enough? It really is cold up here. I wouldn't worry too much. Unlike you three, Willy's always dressed for the mountains. 